Okay, in this video, we are going to discuss and demonstrate myofascial release for the thoracic inlet from a supraclavicular approach utilizing direct myofascial release principles. So uh, first things first, in terms of our contacts, we're gonna be looking for the clavicle and we're gonna rest our fingers along the anterior portion of the uh, patient's deltoids. And uh, we're gonna shift our point of contact from the clavicle to posterior to the clavicle. So now once we're posterior to the clavicle here, we're, we can um, layer palpate down to the fascia, so kind of directing our force inferiorly. And once we've directed that force inferiorly until we feel some, some kind of tension, we can then test different directions of motion um, for increased tension. And remember, with direct myofascial release, we're looking for the areas of greatest restriction. So some directions we can look are in an anterior point of view, posterior, we can also go um, lateral on the right, medial on the left, lateral on the left, medial on the right, or we can go medial on both sides, lateral on both sides. And for my patient, what I'm finding in this area is my greatest uh, point of restriction uh, is anterior and then lateral on the right and medial on the right. Now, in terms of uh, how I'm approaching those uh, restrictive barriers, it's important to note that I'm not just kind of gliding along the skin. I'm not just kind of shifting my fingers all over the place. Instead, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to shift my focus and my vector of force, um, kind of pointing in whatever direction that, uh, that restricted barrier might be. So Again, I'm setting up with an anterior direction and then lateral on the right, medial on the left. And then I'm gonna hold that for up to two minutes, but I'm looking for any evidence of um, tissue texture change that indicates tissue release, um, improved circulation, or decrease in tension. And I'm already beginning to feel that and feeling decrease in tension under my fingers. So I'd follow that decrease in tension. As an enhancing maneuver, I could also utilize respiratory assist and have my patient uh, take deep breaths in and out. So when my patient takes a big breath in, go ahead, I'll feel increased tension under my fingers and I can resist that. And then with exhalation, I can follow as the fascia uh, relaxes more. And that would be more of an enhancing maneuver that would improve um, my tissue release as I'm breaching any restricted barriers. And once I've uh, felt sufficient tissue release, then I would return the tissues back to neutral, and then I could also reassess. And from there, I could also continue in different areas of the thoracic inlet as needed for any additional areas of tension. And that concludes this technique.